Some things in life are just made to go together. Peanut butter and jelly, rock and roll, the sun and the moon. These things got Blake Sanders, the owner of KS Services, thinking. What can we pair with our superior heating and air service to make our customers even happier? Plumbing Experts by KS Services was born. So the next time you have a clog line, leaky faucet, or water running all through the house, know there's a reputable company out there on call just a click away. Call KS.com, your trusted source for heating and cooling and now plumbing. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Thursday, the 28th of February, last day of meteorological winter. How about that? Rain to start the day. We'll have more rain on Sunday. Maybe some strong storms, then a shot of cold air as we get into meteorological spring. Here we go. Upper look this morning, a zonal flow, a little wave coming through that flow, producing a lot of rain across the state this morning. That was the radar at 5 o'clock. Rain with embedded thunderstorms in many areas moving east. We think the rain tapers off this afternoon. Mostly 50s, a few low 60s to start the day. Highs today, 67 to 70 from most spots. Around the region, much colder behind a cold front that's north and west of the state. St. Louis and Tulsa in the 20s. And you keep going north and it's very cold again up north and around the Great Lakes. And we'll feel that air early next week. There's the watch warning map. We've got winter weather advisories for east Oklahoma up through parts of southern Illinois. Scattered issues like that over the northeast and the northwest and some fog issues on the South Atlantic coast. There's the severe weather outlook today and tonight. Certainly a, a chance of thunder here today, especially this morning, but no severe weather expected. Tomorrow, maybe some thunder, but I think for most places the day tomorrow should be dry. But if any storms do form, no severe weather. Day three, which is Saturday, a marginal risk of severe storms west of the state. And look at here, day four, which is Sunday, we now have a risk of severe weather defined for much of Alabama and Mississippi and some of the adjacent states. And we'll talk about this as we go along. Here's the precipitation for the next seven days. Again, California getting lots of rain and mountain snow. Pretty wet down here. Rain amounts between two and three inches for most spots. And again, this is through Thursday morning of next week. So model fans, let's go. The GFS, the 06C run at noon today. Zonal flow, the little wave producing rain this morning. The rain should taper off by midday today. And I think a decent part of the afternoon will be dry with only a few lingering showers. And again, high 67 to 70. Tomorrow, relatively dry. A lot of clouds around, and there might be a shower somewhere, but probably not many. A bit cooler, high 60 to 65. Folks up in the Tennessee Valley might stay in the 50s through the day. Now, what about your weekend plans? Well, this is Saturday, and again, there's just not much rain showing up here on the GFS. We are going to mention showers, but it's certainly not going to be a rainy day. In fact, let's look at the high-resolution NAM, which goes out 60 hours. This is Saturday at noon, and again, it's just not showing much. So for Saturday, uh, more clouds than sun, maybe a shower or two, but if you got something planned outdoors like a baseball game, a decent chance you'll get that in. High should be in the 60s, but Sunday, yeah, wet. Uh, this is the GFS Sunday at noon, a cold front pushing in from the north. A lot of snow in the north flank of this stuff, St. Louis, through parts of southern Illinois, Indiana, back over towards Cincinnati. And let's go to the European, which has handled this better throughout the week. It's got a fairly deep surface low, about 1,000 millibars north of the state, with rain and storms coming in here. This is the uh, instability, the Cape. And this is a pretty good bit. The air becomes pretty unstable. And that's the reason the SPC guys have gone ahead and uh, put that uh, chance of severe storms in here. And obviously, at this point, kind of hard to define the specific risks. But Sunday will be wet with rain and storms, maybe a few storms being strong to severe with a chance of gusty winds, kind of a low-end tornado threat as well. This is Sunday night at midnight. Rain begins to move out. There might be a few snow flurries up in the Tennessee Valley as the cold air rushes in, but no impact. And then Monday, cold and dry. The high will be in the 40s with a good north wind, the sky becoming partly to mostly sunny. Tuesday, cold. Start the day in the 20 to 25 degree range, the high only in the low 40s. Wednesday, this could be the coldest morning. Uh, the operational GFS showing 20 for Birmingham. That means we'll see some upper teens easily in the colder pockets. The sky's sunny, the high in the 40s. These are the anomalies. 
A lot of green, a lot of blue. Temperatures well below average. And a week from today, Thursday the 7th, trough moving off the upper Atlantic coast. And we are dry and we should warm back up into the 50s at that point. Let's go out 10 days, Saturday, March 9th. Troughing just north and west of here, a surface low passing north with a chance of rain and storms if this verifies. And again, this will probably change if you got something planned that day. Check the numbers off the European Ensemble. You can see highs in the 60s for the weekend, then a big drop next week. Lows well below freezing by Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday morning. Winter isn't over. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.